In at 11, video of a jaw-dropping plunge. A driver flies off the edge of the road straight into the water. Tonight, we hear from strangers who rushed in to help. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Those heroes were inside a restaurant when they saw the SUV swerve off the road near Lakeshore Boulevard in Tavares, right by Lake Eustis. Let's get straight out to News 6 reporter Troy Campbell. And Troy, the people in that SUV made it out alive, but this was wild. Well, it was a close call, Lisa. Luckily, the people inside the vehicle, they only had to be treated for non-life-threatening injuries. The damage, it's still here. You can take a look behind me. So this is where witnesses say that that vehicle flew off the roadway, crashed into this, and then flew completely into this lagoon. We're seeing surveillance of this for the first time tonight, and the owner of this business is trying to get results. The waitress came up and it was uh, frantic and said, call 911, call 911. This surveillance video from a nearby business near the intersection of 441 and Lakeshore Boulevard in Tavares shows the moment the driver of a black Dodge SUV loses control of the vehicle while turning left onto 441. You can see the vehicle take the turn too wide, then hitting a van then overcorrecting before plummeting right into the water, just feet from where guests were eating at the fish camp on Lake Eustis. Just ran out to, to help. You know, and, and one of our guests actually ran out and jumped on top of the car and helped the people out of the car. You can see these images from Sunday afternoon showing someone on top of the vehicle as others gathered around while people were still inside the SUV. The restaurant's owner, Jim Jordan, says staff ran to gather hammers and even used a ladder to help the driver out of the water after the barrier in place didn't prevent the vehicle from crashing. Jordan says he's been in touch with both the city of Tavares and the Florida Department of Transportation, looking to get results by installing a tougher barrier on this stretch of roadway before someone else is seriously hurt. I would like them to do a guardrail in the Department of Transportation. Uh, they've had years to, to uh, try to find another way around it, but they, they need a guardrail. Now, state records also show that in the area of Lakeshore Boulevard right here, there has been more than 40 crashes over the last six years, so much so that the owner of this restaurant, if you take a look at his outdoor seating area on this deck, he doesn't feel comfortable putting any chairs in this corner near the road in fear that another vehicle might fly off this roadway. Lisa, Matt. Pretty frightening. Troy Campbell reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. This story continues online where we posted the full surveillance video. You can find that and more pictures from the rescue on clickorlando.com under top stories.